What's going on everybody? So today I'm going to be doing another video and today I decided to break out Island Man by Sterling. Uh, I'm probably not going to use this much longer since it's getting into the fall season. So I think this will be the last time I'll use this this season. Uh, I'm also going to be using <clears throat> for the brush the I'll say the synthetic brush I bought from uh, from uh, Amazon a while back. I don't think this thing is synthetic. Like, it doesn't feel synthetic. This is a synthetic. This is just a cheap knockoff, but I'm gonna use it anyhow. I'm also gonna be using my uh, Pearl that I bought a while back off Amazon. And I'm using Asco blade made by the Lord. So I'll be using that today. Uh, let me get my face wet. And if I nick myself, I have my Gentleman John on standby. I'm not going to show Gentleman John because I always do that. So. Yeah, like it's getting closer and closer and closer to fall, so I can't wait. And I love, I literally love this. I, I love how <clears throat> uh, Sterling can make a scent smell so beautiful and the look of it look amazing as well. Like when I first opened this for the very first time, I was blown away, one, by the smell and the scent, and two, what it looked like, because it literally looks like a blue ocean. So. Yeah, if you are in the market of a uh, a new brush or whatever, if you want to buy this, you can. Like, it's not bad. It's just they shouldn't call it a synthetic because it's not really a synthetic brush. I know synthetic brushes are supposed to be fake and blah, blah, blah. But... Literally, this is literally a cheap knockoff of a synthetic. Because when I first used, uh, when I first got my Sterling one, uh, I could tell a difference right away from that and the other one I had. Because I bought, what, I bought this one. And I bought this one. This both of them came into a uh, like a two pack. So it was this one and this one. But to me, they're not synthetic. They really aren't. They're they're just a cheap knockoff that I'm sorry that Amazon or whoever made it to sell on Amazon first pass. To sell on Amazon to to say oh it's synthetic it really isn't so if you ever decide that you want to get a synthetic number one do your research like that was my biggest mistake I didn't do my research I seen because, one, I got them for like eight bucks. It was a pack of two for eight dollars. You know. And the thing that really didn't help 
was uh, when they came, I looked at it, I'm like, this doesn't look right. You know? And as soon as I got my Sterling one, I was like, okay, this thing looks amazing. So again, if you are looking at synthetic brushes, because I don't mind using them. Because I own, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I own three I own six uh, brushes. I know that's not a lot, but. I own six brushes. Uh, hold on, I'm going to try to fix this real quickly. Uh, I own uh, the synthetic from Sterling. Uh, these two that I bought off of Amazon. Uh, oh, hold on. Uh, I got my two, uh, my two brushes that I bought from, my two badgers from Artist Shaving, and I bought a uh, board brush from, from, uh, CBS, you know, all of them I bought with my own money. Well, uh, the black brush, this one, I've had since 2017. Uh, actually, no, 2015, sorry. Uh, uh, like all of them except for that one, I have bought the the black one, the black uh, art shaving one. My wife bought. She bought me uh, for Christmas. She bought me like a trial size uh, uh, gift set of art shaving. So, cause here at Disney World. At Disney Springs, they have a uh, second pass. They have a. They have a. Uh, our shaving store. So she went in there and bought me uh, a set because she told the person. Uh, look, my husband has extremely sensitive skin and he can't use all these products that are out there. I don't know why this side is not cutting. Like, that is the strangest thing. It's not wanting to cut. This side's perfect, the other side's not. But the guy was extremely helpful with her. She's a, like, I guess the guy was like, well, I would highly suggest getting uh, sandalwood because it will, one, it will rejuvenate his, his skin and It'll help him and blah, blah, blah. And like, it was, 
it was awesome. That's what I fell in love with uh, using these products. Because I'm, for the longest time, I used to use like Edge or, or uh, Barbersol. Can't use Barbersol because Barbersol, that actually makes me break out because I have, because I have extremely sensitive skin. I can't use Barbersol. Uh, uh, there's other stuff I can't use. I can't use uh, I literally cannot use uh, like Old Spice Swagger. I tried using Old Spice Swagger twice and this is a little TMI for you guys but I bought Old Spice Swagger uh, like the uh, the um, soap bar you know just to take showers and whatnot well come to find out I can't use it because that literally burned my skin like to the point where it was it was it would make my whole entire chest right it looked like someone like just beat the living daylights out of me but come to find out it was uh it was the bar. Can't use that. You can't use Old Spice Swagger for like shaving or whatever. You know. <clears throat> and there's another soap. I can't remember. I, I, I can't remember what like dish soap it is. But like this is how bad sensitive skin I have. Like it's to the point where there's some, uh, some there's some there's soaps I can't even use because of it. I think the next time I use this, I'm gonna, I'm going to take a new uh, blade and figure out what the heck's going on with this thing. I wonder if I might just have to take it out and just clean the whole entire thing. I might do that after I get done. Or it might just because I might have, yeah, I gotta take that out and figure out what the heck's going on. Oh. But I can't even cut on that side. And I don't use this as much as I normally do, so. I don't know if I have the things on right or what uh, so. When I first bought uh, this pearl, I don't like like when I first started using a double edge razor, you know, I was scared to death to use it, you know, because I've never used one before in my life. So I think I told the story where where I was at my dad's house and I said, dude, I'm gonna shave. Where's your uh, razors and blah blah blah. He's like, well I got one on the on the on the uh Color he can use, and I, I'm looking at I'm looking at his uh, razor. I'll pull it out when I first when I get done. And that's one I don't use as much as I used to. Anyway, as well.
filing man for the last time for the season. Should be good. Yeah, that's perfect. But let me find it real quickly. Here it is. No, that's not it. Here it is. But I'm like literally looking at this thing. I'm like, uh. I'm literally like staring at this thing. I'm like, I don't even know how to use this thing. So I finally used it. I didn't cut myself, but I'm probably gonna use it right now. Get the rest. But like, I get done using it. My dad's all like, so what do you think of it? I'm like, I like it. He's like, good, you can have it. I'm Okay, whatever. And that actually started my my uh, my thing for uh, using double edge racers. Although I still used uh, the traditional razor, you know, the cartridge razor for a year and a half after, because I only used that razor, the double edge razor. But on very, very special occasions, like, uh, like my wife and I would go out, I said, okay, we're going to go out, I'm going to use the double edge razor, blah, 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 to get a better shave. Well, then we went to Disney, and I bought, then I bought my very first razor, and that was the Mule R106, which I still have, which that is, that will always be my favorite razor. My Mule R106 will always be my favorite razor. Uh, and then, after that, I just started buying more and buying more and buying more and buying more. You know, and then now I have like nine razors. I don't have much razors, but I have like nine. So, I'm good on razors for them for a while. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe button. Leave comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, happy shaving.